Detecting and responding to network inclusions using the command prompt involves several steps. Here are CMD commands and techniques to detect inclusions in network security. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. The audit pool command retrieves the current audit policy settings. Type audit pool get category. Auditing user activities creates an accountability trail. In the event of a security incident, audit logs can help trace the actions of users and identify the source of the breach. To audit security event logs, type WEVTUTILQE security. F text C 10 RD true. This command queries the last 10 events from the security log in reverse order. By querying the most recent security events, administrators can quickly identify and respond to suspicious activities or security incidents as they occur. To monitor network traffic, type net trace start capture yes. This starts a network packet capture. Capturing network traffic provides a detailed view of the data being transmitted over the network. This can help identify abnormal traffic patterns that may indicate an intrusion or malicious activity. Type Nesh Trace Stop. This stops the network packet capture and saves it to a file for analysis. Stopping the network trace ensures that all captured data is saved properly allowing for a complete and accurate data set for analysis. Disable unnecessary services. Type SC config remote registry start disabled. The remote registry service allows remote users to modify the registry settings on a machine. Disabling this service reduces the potential attack surface, making it harder for attackers to exploit registry vulnerabilities or misconfigurations remotely. Show all listening ports which might indicate open ports being used for unauthorized access. Type net starts en find listed. Identifying anomalies in the list of listening ports can indicate potential compromises. Ports that are open unexpectedly may signal unauthorized applications or services. Disable the executable involved in creating each connection or listening port. Type net start b. This command shows which executable files are associated with active connections and listening ports. This helps in identifying malicious executables that may be trying to communicate over the network. Type net start R. This displays the routing table which might reveal unauthorized routes. Changes in the routing table can indicate unauthorized modifications to network settings or infrastructure which may be indicative of a security breach. Check for quarantined items. Type program files windows defender mpcmdrun.exe Restore List all This command provides a detailed list of all items that have been quarantined by Windows Defender. Reviewing these items help security professionals understand what threats have been detected and quarantined, offering insights into potential intrusion attempts. List all shadow tasks with detailed information. Type shadow task Query FO List V Attackers often create or modify scheduled tasks to maintain persistence on a compromised system. By listening all scheduled tasks, security teams can identify any suspicious or unauthorized tasks that may have been created by attackers. To delete suspicious scheduled tasks, type scheduled task Delete CR. Replace suspicious tasks with the actual name of the task you want to delete. If 
deleting suspicious tasks removes these persistence mechanisms, thereby disrupting the attacker's ability to maintain control over the compromised system. Task list displays a list of currently running processes on the local or remote machine. To list all running tasks, type task list. Monitoring this list helps detect any unauthorized or suspicious processes that may indicate a security breach. Once you have identified the PID of the process you want to terminate, use the task kill command followed by the PID parameter to terminate the process. Type task kill PID Task scale disrupts attempts by malware to establish persistence on the system, making it harder for attackers to maintain access. Scan all protected system files and replace corrupted files with a cache copy. Type SFC Scanner. Any unauthorized modifications to system files can be detected by this command. This is crucial for identifying potential compromises or intrusions. To audit user accounts, type Net user. This displays a list of all user accounts on the system. Regularly listing user accounts can help detect unauthorized accounts that may have been created by an attacker to maintain access to the system. Type net user followed by the username. To display detailed information about a specific user account, including creation date, this information can help identify anomalies such as accounts with outdated passwords or unusual account activity.